Hello guys, in this quick video we'll see how to change the dimensions of a chart using a drop down list and variables. So in this case I have the state field here, I can change it to city or crops. The same result could be achieved using alternative dimensions, using this functionality, but sometimes we just want to make things more obvious to the end user, so this is an alternative. So check out this tip and I hope you like it. In this example, we'll be using three dimensions, which are state, city, and crops. Okay, the first step is to create a new variable. So let's come here in the variables, create new. I will call it V dimension, and I will give it a value of zero. Hit create and done. We're gonna use this variable input object from the custom objects. This is part of the click dashboard bundle. Before setting up this object, let's go back to our bar chart. And as you can see, I have the state field in the dimension. So I will change this to our variable. So dollar sign, open parenthesis, V dimension, which is the name of my variable, and apply. Since the variable value is zero, it's bringing the zero value in here. But now we're gonna change and list the columns and fields that we want to place in here. Now going back to the variable input object, let's go to the appearance section and in the variable, let's find the variable name. In this case, it's V dimension. And we will use a drop down list with dynamic values. So we change here the values instead of fix it, let's put dynamic. Following the instructions, we need to separate the values with the pipe sign and the text and field names with this symbol. So let's create our list, click here. We need to add single quotes and now the name of the field that we want to place in here. So in my case it's in Portuguese, so the state field is written like that. Now I will add that symbol and the name that I want to show in the drop down list, in this case state. Now I add the pipe sign, the next field which could be city, the real field name is cidade. Now again, that sign and city. And the third option is cultivo, and I want to show this as crops. Now I close the single quotes, apply. Now you can see that in the drop down list I have three options. If I select city, the variable value is changed, and now we have this field being placed in the chart. And you'll see that the city field is now filtered. I can change it back now to crops or states, but notice that we have here below the chart the label of the dimension and we can change this according to the selection. So let's go back to the chart. Here in our dimension we can change the label using the same variable. The only observation is that we need to use single quotes. So single quotes, dollar sign, open parenthesis, V dimension, which is the name of the variable, and close single quotes. Down here we'll see the variable value and now we can change our fields using this drop down list. So that's it for this video, if you like this kind of content don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.